It's James Holder for iFilm London. I'm at the Britannia in central London today for the iBox show in conjunction with Mickey Elliott. With me, fighting on the bill, I've got undefeated the Pexican, Johnny Gar. <laughs> All right, John? Oh, well, thank you. Right. you. Yes, first and foremost, congratulations on your win. Thank you. Uh, Gareth Piper. Interesting fight. Talk to me about it. What do you, how do you think you win? Um, I feel I could, I'm not saying another away from Gareth, but I feel I could have done a lot better. I was trying to force the work a bit too much. I see he was a bit taller than me, so I thought I'd try and get under him, but I was forcing it a bit too much. I weren't really relaxed. And uh, I just made hard work of it, really. Yeah. But I don't want to take nothing away from Gareth. He, he but I still got to win and won every round. So, That's right. Yeah. I, don't think you lost, I don't think you lost any rounds. It, was just, it just seemed a bit, bit scrappy at times. A bit of a stop and start affair, if you like. But. Uh, yeah, we was, you know, we was clashing, so we was getting a clinch with old, and then mm. little things like that. But, uh, yeah, no, I've got the win, so I've got to be happy, really. Even yeah. though I weren't too happy with the performance, but winning the only four rounds at the end of the day. Yeah. yeah, I thought you could have stopped him. Maybe if it was a couple, maybe if it was an eight rounder, I think I think he would have been in a bit, a bit of trouble. But he looked like he was towards the end of the fight. Could have gone. Uh, yeah, I, I, do you know, I think I could have. I, I think I had him going in the third, and the six. I definitely hurt him, and the fifth. So. If I had stepped out, I probably could have got him out of there, but obviously while well, I was trying to force the work throughout the whole fight, I was just getting scrappy and just getting tied up and it was uh, I should have been a bit clever to be honest and get a bit more experience. I should be thinking about these things rather than trying to please everyone. Yeah, that's that's a really really big point. Fair play to the boy for for sticking it together and holding on it. So. No, that's it, yeah, definitely. Uh, if I was in that situation I'd have done the same. Yeah, I think that comes with experience, doesn't it? Yeah. Ability to hold on and First show for the iBox gym, official. <laughs> How do you think it went today? Give me an honest answer. Uh, different, very different. Usually, you know, I've got a big crowd and they're noisy. So going out and not having so much noise. Don't get me wrong, it's good, it's nice to have a hotel, I've got a room, so I've got to relax in my room for a couple of hours. And I don't think you could have got any more people in the show. It's absolutely packed out there, by the way. I just, that is, that is a true. Yeah, it's, 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 it's very, it's just a different yeah. atmosphere to say an arena or to, to like to your call, isn't it, the dinner shows, they, they're a bit more reserved, aren't they? Yeah, yeah, it's, uh, it's, don't get me wrong, it's nice too, but I prefer open shows, I, I like finding at your call and the coronet where it's a bit rowdy and, yeah. you know. Do you like the coronet? Uh, at first, don't get me wrong, it's, it's not the nicest venue, but when I you're like in the ring and you've got everyone cheering you, it is, you can really, it feels like they're in there with it's you. It's very like, compact. I say it every time, it does feel like they're right on top here and, some people I know like it because they'll be ringside and they said you can literally, if someone was to bleed, you'd feel the blood hit you. So you are right in on it. So it's, good, it's a good atmosphere. It's a fight fans, yeah, it's a fight fans uh, venue, yeah, definitely. Yeah, I agree. I went to Sheffield the other week to a little place called Ponds Forge. First time I checked that out, that was pretty nice. Oh, nice. Good boxing, nice yeah. Bear that in mind. Random, random trivia fact. <laughs> there. Sorry about that. <laughs> kind of get off track. But, uh, what, what's the plan now then? When, when can we anticipate seeing you out? Uh, a bit elusive on the dates with me. Has Al said anything about what's going on? He did. It's not 100 percent yet, but he did say to me 5th of June. Yeah. So hopefully then, and I don't know whether I'll break up for the season. Hopefully I'll get another one in. I'll, I'll keep on busy. I want to stay busy. And um, yeah. So we see what happens. Hopefully some more sparring. I know you live for sparring. That's your favourite thing. It's training. Isn't it? I love the fighting and sparring to that. I could not wait to get in there. It feels you could like see it in your face when you was, you was getting ready to go out. Yeah, I hate waiting around. It's just the time drags and it's, it feels like I've been in this hotel for weeks. It's just, I've only been here for a few hours. It's been driving me up the wall. We only good, like, a couple of my mates coming out and sat in my room with me for about half an hour. Does that make a difference then? You're one of the people you don't want to be left alone. You want to be have your people um, sometimes I do like my own time. During the after like that one o'clock this afternoon, there's people talking to me. I just didn't want to talk to them. I just yeah, yeah. tend to go away. It's quite miserable, really. But um, so you got to be like getting in your zone, isn't it? Whatever yeah, you definitely. Do is when I get to the venue, I just want to have a laugh and because it helps pass the time. When you're sitting about, it drags and yeah. I just want to get in there and get on with it. You know, this is a, this is part of it. I yeah, love. Yeah. Don't mean to know. I went and done the Wembley weighing. Sat about all day. I spoke to none other than Ricky Boyle, and he told me the show starts at seven o'clock. What time do you think it started? Well, it told me seven o'clock. So I thought I presume... I'm for dinner. <laughs> I, 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 I don't want dinner, do I? I get dinner at home. I presume the show was got like, boxing at 7.30 latest, you know what I mean? Got here about quarter to seven. No, it was everyone had their dinner I come at seven. Straight from, I come then... straight from Wembley, John. I've sat here since quarter to seven. Well, you didn't even get a bit of lamb. Didn't give me a bit of lamb. No Eddie, no Eddie lamb for me. <laughs> Nothing. I sat here, just sat here waiting for you to guys to box. I'm, I'm glad I'm glad it's been quite a decent show. It's worth waiting for, to be honest. Oh, uh, yeah, no, as, yeah, it's been nice. It's a nice venue, definitely. But, um... As I said, I like the uh, your calls and places like that. Well, hopefully it might be too long till we get a chance to see you at your call or 
and one of these big arena shows, yeah. you know what I mean? No, not, I, you know, I don't really like the big arenas, I think no. they're too... No, I like the little compact... I the arena shows are good if you're like a chief support or a headlining fight, because you know there's going to be a lot of people there, but you might be right in terms of the earlier fights. Yeah. They're not, they're not really that busy, are they? No, no, and I'm, you know, I'm not really one for all that big lights, and I'm not into boxing for all that crap and money. You know, I, like, I do it because I like boxing, I like yeah. fighting, so that's the only reason I do it. I honestly believe that. I'm not one of these people that think, oh yeah, I turn pro for the money. I turn pro because I want to win a Lonsdale belt. Yeah, Lonsdale belt. Yeah. And that's the only reason, whether I do or don't, you know, at least I'll give it a go. Yeah, well, listen, every one of these W's you get, you know, they're closer, they're you know what I mean? They're you know, I've never thought down. I was going to get to eight and oh, to be honest with you. Yeah. I thought that. I'd struggle to get to five and oh, and I've done that, and you know, hopefully I can get to ten, and then maybe a title shot then, but I'm not in no rush. Yeah, just keep doing what you're doing, you're going in the right direction. Definitely, yeah. yeah. Listen, I want to thank you thank for you. your time. Um, no, thank you. As always, it's a great pleasure to get your knife from London. Keep doing what you're doing, and we look forward to seeing you again. Thank you, and I'll see you soon. Yep. <laughs> James Holder with Johnny Garton for iFilm London. Thank you very much.